How's it going, everybody? This is the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Monday, August 23rd. I'm your host, Scott Labrie. Joined alongside me, we have Uncle Teabag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. And we have Uncle Beanbag. It's <laughs> a shame. Hello. Beanbag. Hey. That's good. I like that. Hey, yeah. Uncle Bag of Beans. <laughs> 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 uh, Eric is Uncle Beanbag because uh, he spent all weekend at the Beanbag tournament. Mm-hmm. How'd you out do? In the leg. We lost out in the first round right away. Wow. Well, the uh, best so round, 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 round robin game. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a tournament hosted by the Malay Winter Hockey. It was in Malay, and there was a classic car and tractor show as well. So, it was a big event with that there. Good fundraiser event. and Nice. Yeah, it was lots of turnout. Uh, 44 teams. Wow. Of two, yeah. So, wow. Yeah, and it was eight pools of five teams, and it, was, it went by fast like we were, we were done early enough but yeah no and then play games so normally we play beanbags you play usually with but i always play with bust so whoever gets 21 exactly usually wins but if you go 21 and over you win that way right so okay this time it was that way first over oh, 21 or over wins automatically right oh so well, that's if, if you're lucky that's if you have good luck and throwing good the day you're yeah, you're good to go you just right? clean so, house yeah yeah first two games we lost like close like 21 19 and then yeah our last game we played, like, like, they got shut out here, like, in two minutes, like, 21-2 or something like that. I'm like, oh, fuck. But they were just on, on fire, just bags in the hole every time. I was like, yeah, we just can't <sighs> beat that, so. And, of course, it was, you know, a long day of, nice day as it was, alcohol, alcohol consumption, a little bit of drinking. Oh, of course. A little bit of visiting there, so. Well, bean bags and yeah. alcohol is Yeah, we get there at 10.30, marriage. and our teammate Curtis is like, well, get some breakfast. And I'm like, I look over, yeah, sure. Already, already out before breakfast. Already out before breakfast, and <laughs> <laughs> Couple of chiladas there, and some some beer and clamato, and yeah, Ooh, it's just, breakfast to change. And then yeah, they were there all day. Uh, the tournament w- offered us a supper too as well, beef and the bun. So nice. Did that, had that. It was great, awesome food, phenomenal food there. Couldn't say nothing but the best things. And then uh, yeah, stayed for a fire afterwards. Visited some more and went to the bar. And, like bars open up again now, right? So and how went, was that? Went checked it out and had a good time there. I uh, felt old. I'll be honest. Because <laughs> uh, a few uh, friends that I work with who are, you know, 20, 21, 19 years old, rode there too and visited with them, but look over them like, yeah, wow, I am old. <laughs> Shit. Because that's where we used to go. Right? All the time, yeah. yeah while yeah. we were still in high school, we used yeah. to go in there. Yeah. It's couple, a long time ago. A couple of high school kids getting kicked out and like, oh, yeah. that's familiar there. Yeah. You guys so, know you can't be in here. Yeah. No, no. And he's right. I tried sneaking in a couple times. Too like, bad. yeah, no, too bad, right? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Stick me a pony jug. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all that all night I'm like <laughs> just yeah, go yeah, stick the thing over the rails. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go around the uh, railing. Yeah, well, all I'm night, all drinking. the all the <laughs> <laughs> feeding the kids alcohol while they're smoking. Fuck yeah, yeah man. Uh. Glory days. Nice. Well, yeah, it was funny. All, all night, though, they're like, because there's no ramp to get into the bar. It's all like four or five stairs to get in there, right? right. So I'm used to get off my chair, pulling my chair up and going. But every one of those guys would be like, so how'd you get in here? I'm like, just gone up the stairs. You can do that. I'm like, dude, I've been coming here for 15 years. I know how to get in this bar. <laughs> right. Freaking kids. Uh, but yeah. But that was an awesome time. That's yeah. sweet. That, that was sounds, a good time. It sounds a like good, a good time. Good visit. With old friends and family, it was nostalgic nice. weekend. Yeah, it was. It was good to be home. Yeah. So do they do like in, you said these pools? Like do they do like a round robin, round robin first? play, and then top two from each pool go on to the okay. next round, and then you just, just got to keep one in the hallway. There was hmm. the years before they had like um, like A, B, and C pools afterwards for round robin, uh, but mm-hmm. this time it was just straightforward, just the one winners only, yeah. and yeah, so. Losers don't take on yeah, losers. You got, you're, guaranteed, and you have... you're guaranteed four games, and then, like, yeah, they, they could have planned it out, but we weren't sure how many teams were coming out to begin with, so they kept it as simple this year. So I think maybe next year, if they knew they're getting that much bodies again, they'll do like an A, B, and C uh, yeah. line division or whatever. Yeah, division afterwards. Yeah, yeah so. So do they have up. like tournament set up yeah. boards? There, I didn't take a photo of it. I, my phone okay. was dead most of the day, but it was eight boards set up and all the same, okay. uh, all different boards, but all the bags were identical pretty much. And the weight is all around the same. They had the there. scales with the beans and the yeah. bags. Not that, sure it was not that precise, but it <laughs> no. was precise enough. They were all red, red and blue bo- uh, bags, and yeah, so. yeah. No, it was good for that. Oh, and, that'd be so much fun. Yeah, I no, love being It bags. was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Like if you could bring your own board, just like make. Your hole slightly bigger mm-hmm. or something. Well, I guess the, you play on one on each side. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so yeah, exactly. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. Wouldn't no, no. At that point, it's like okay, you're gonna be that much of a finagle. It's like, what's the point of that? I want to use my like, own just, bags, but they're like weighted just right. Yeah, and just like 
Yeah, yeah. No. So like this guy's uh, got two centimeter more mm-hmm. diameter. In yes, his hole. and some yeah. were like some were built differently. Some had like just this frame or just the wood or some were like the ones that fold in half. Three mm-hmm. it's for storage. Yeah, there's different kinds, but didn't yeah. matter. Okay. No. Okay. You played on the same board every every single day, every single game though. So we were in pool seven. We played on board seven all all day. What oh, was okay. the I what was, was that. the prizes? Uh, first place got three hundred dollar gift card and then the trophy, which is like, it's like a uh, let's say I think a photo of it. It's a little like trophy they made out of like pots and pans with like a Stanley Cup. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, the second place got uh, one fifty. Hundred dollars. Oh, shit. And what was entry yeah. fee? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah, so huh. wasn't bad. No, so no. There's forty four teams. Forty four teams. Yeah, so. They made some money on that. They, yeah. Oh yeah, they definitely yeah. Uh, pumped some of that. They had the concession open there too with burgers and fry. Oh, that yeah. you still pay for. Oh yeah, okay. but yeah, it's still it was mar- arena food. Malaga like, arena food's phenomenal. Oh yeah, it was for sure. it was awesome food. Yeah, so that's the best yeah. arena food, man. Mm-hmm. Those hamburgers. Oh yeah, it doesn't even taste like meat, but it's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> I had two of them. I was like, I had one one for breakfast, and I'm so hungry, like two two o'clock. I'm like, I should eat some more. Another burger. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was good. Beer yeah. and burgers. Yeah. Oh, you know, so it was it was a fun day. Got a lot of sun. My face is a little hot. Yeah. You're a little red. A little red, yeah. I burnt myself by the fire last night there, too. That's probably got me in the side of the head. And yeah, so. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm just sitting there talking with Matt. I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I see, like, uh, I, see the, okay. I see the spark come off my hand. I'm like, ah, oh, no freaking wonder. Jeez. And then number one from Brian got one in the ear. We were talking with the fire. Just, what the frick? And you see him like, pull an ash out of his uh, ear. Like, uh, ah. <laughs> God damn like it. And Uncle Beanbag just wilding this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was good. That's nice. Also, mm-hmm. Like a blasty blast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tyler, what'd you get up to? Absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. I did some <coughs> more writing with my new book. I got about fifteen more pages done. Nice, mm-hmm. dude. And uh, put all of Carly's right, Sorotas together. Friday night, we p- I did some model making, and you did some yep. book working. And- I got all of her stuff put together now. It's all slapped together. She's got to paint me, it. Bud. So, and I did yeah. a bunch of writing. I watched R.L. Stein's Goosebumps today. The movie with Jack Black. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, I, you I know, heard, I heard, the, heard the second one was better than the first one. Is Jack Black in that one? Too? I think he's still in that one. Yeah, but I heard the second one was a lot better than the first. The first one had so much potential, but mm-hmm. it was just like they made a second one. Yeah. They made a second one. That's it weird. came out, I think, last year. Yeah, year before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, frick, maybe I'll have to well, watch you know. it as much as I complain about mm-hmm. the first one. But yeah, no, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Didn't really do and much. You, my good sir. I uh, got up to a couple uh, things. Uh, went out to my parents' lake lot mm-hmm. all yesterday. Good day for that. It was yes. a beautiful day yesterday. Yeah, it's been yeah. like a few few hours there. Mm-hmm. Lots of wasps, but yeah, it's everywhere it's though. Everywhere. It's yeah. an infestation. It's too bad. Today I watched. Uh, uh, I also I watched it last, but I also forgot to tell you. I did watch. Uh, it was the championship game of the CEBL, uh, the Edmonton Stingers, the the basketball. Oh league. yeah, yeah. Limited Stingers are now back to back champions. They like just destroyed the Niagara River Lions. Like they beat them by thirty five points. It like was not even close. Wow! Whoa! Freaking yeah. blowout! Yeah, domination. Because like the semifinals was Friday night, and that was Edmonton versus Ottawa, mm-hmm. and it was like one point going into the the Elam ending, the target score, or whatever. Yeah. Right. And then they ended up beating them by I think like seven at the end. But okay. But yeah, for a cha- <laughs> championship game, it's like, yeah. damn, not even close. Not even close yet. A bit of a blowout. Yeah. Yeah, shit. But that was mm-hmm. only second in my highlights. My number one highlight this weekend was watching AEW oh, All yes. Elite Wrestling on Friday night because CM Punk returned. And you guys are like... Yeah, when uh, when he we sent just, the message to the group chat, it's like something big is coming back. Something happening. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, like okay, who? Dwayne Johnson, Stone Cold, like, like who's, who's coming back? Kevin Ash is coming back. He's like CM, CM Punk. Punk. I'm like, <laughs> who the fuck who the hell is, is that? CM Punk. <laughs> if you watch wrestling in the 2010s, yeah. you definitely know who this guy is. Because that's so <laughs> rundown for people who don't know who that is. Essentially, I'm gonna put it into all layman's terms. If John Cena is Superman, <laughs> then CM Punk was Batman ah. in this time, okay? Except for if DC hated Batman, kind of, sort of, and didn't really want him to succeed all that well. Ah. But even though people liked him a lot. So maybe not quite Batman, but... So Zack Schneider's so, cut of... Uh, some sort of, like, some gotcha. sort of cult gotcha. following person. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like a Hellboy or something like yeah. that. Or something. Okay. But more popular. Right. Um, ah, sure. 
Yeah. Well, compared to Superman, I mean. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Is that who Hellboy so everybody is, right? was pretty. <laughs> everybody's pretty pumped. Oh, From the video reaction video yeah, you sent us. Was was pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were. That was nuts. Nuts. The whole first stadium thought, looks yeah. like it was gonna fall, like cave in, man. Yeah. Yeah. So he was gone for seven years. Essentially, uh, he ended up suing the WWE before. Uh, their doctor, like, not diagnosing him properly and that sort of thing. He ended up getting, like, a, a yeast infection or something yeah. like that. And, like, some th- some other stuff. So he ended up, like, suing the WWE. I don't know if he ended up winning, but they, like, left on really, really bad terms. Wow. He essentially, he, the reason why he, he hasn't been wrestling in seven years is because WWE made him hate wrestling, essentially. Yeah. And, like, everybody's been, like, chanting his name at WWE events for the past seven years. Just, like I said, essentially when... The wrestling is bad in yeah. the ring. They'll chant CM Punk like, it's like you could have him, but you guys suck or something like that yeah. kind of sort of thing. And then, yeah, he finally came back and in Chicago, which is his hometown, so which was also mm-hmm. why it was super loud there. And uh, yeah, cut like a, a fifteen minute promo, mm-hmm. all from the heart, all from the brain. And yeah, it was awesome. Like mm. it was like glad to see him back. He's, he says he's gonna do it full time. Mm. There you go. Yeah. So. He's not. That's not W. It's what, ECW. You said all or? elite wrestling. All AEW. 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 Just, so is it still called CM Punk though, or yes? So is, wouldn't WWE have a license over that no, name? No, because he though? CM Punk was his name before coming to WWE, so oh, he was okay. the trademark to that. Okay. Mm. And another cool thing was because in WWE he would come out to the song uh, "Cult of Personality" by Living Color. Yep. Which is a licensed song, mm-hmm. so it's not a WWE created song. So they were able to use that on the AEW thing. So like, gotcha. everybody's chanting at the beginning, CM yeah, Punk, CM yeah, Punk, and then everybody just loses their freaking <laughs> minds because they know it's him. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, gave me goosebumps. Not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, like wrestling school, man. Wrestling school. Is that yeah. Scott Fields when we talk about Warhammer? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> probably. All right. yeah. I've, we were we were yeah. at uh, the things. We know how it is, man. Yeah, like, just being part of the yeah. whole environment. It's like yeah, I was. Sweet. I will say I was genuinely surprised by how fun wrestling was. I mm-hmm. thought for sure I wouldn't enjoy as much as I did, but it was a lot of fun. But watching on TV is kind of like yeah, no, yeah. you gotta be, you gotta be yeah. there, man. Yeah, yeah you gotta I think be, so. You gotta be there, man. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, there you go. So cool. That was cool. And then so I thought, in honor of CM Punk <laughs> returning to wrestling. Mm-hmm. We talk about some other great and memorable returns, fictional and non-fictional. Mm-hmm. One that comes to mind immediately is, of course, Michael Jordan returning to basketball after going to play baseball for a the bit. 18 months, yeah. And he had that f- most famous thing of well, that's what I was, oh, sending watching, a little, one little two words in the After watching statement. the last stand for, <laughs> last dance for mm-hmm. fucking three years, or every year pretty much. Mm-hmm. If baseball didn't have that strike, do you think he would have ever came back to be, to baseball or basketball? I don't know. I think know. he would have stayed in baseball. He might have yeah. for a little bit, yeah. If it wasn't for that strike, I think for sure. Because, yeah, that was the one thing, like, well, nothing to do. I was like, go hang out with the guys I play with and see what they're doing. And then slowly tiptoe my way back to playing the sport. But did he do a full season He there? did, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he was, it was the training camp of the next season that they, they called the strike. And he walked mm-hmm. off of training camp there. But right. yeah, because the, all the guys they interviewed for the last dance was like, oh yeah, if he kept at it, he would have made pro within a year and a half. Not yeah, two. yeah. So probably, but yeah, but yeah. I mean, that, that's a good. That was a cool return for sure. Oh yeah, he tried just, to not do number, didn't work out. Went back to twenty three, and yeah. But was, I just thought that was yeah. such a baller thing of like sending the newspaper just, from the desk of Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm back. It's that's like, it. And that was the front page on Michael Jordan. Yeah. I'm back. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need to say. Yeah. 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 That's, I, I love that series. So goddamn much, man. Yeah, I, I love that last dance. You still haven't watched it? No. Well, oh, man. I'm so good. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. Where are some I, other uh, returns that you guys can think of? I don't know how much of a return it really was, but uh, I remember when, because uh, my brother's, well, uh, in particular, my brother Jason and I always dreamed of having movies with uh, our favorite action stars together. Mm-hmm. When Expendables came out, oh, yeah. that was like a literal childhood dream come true for me. Yeah. Was seeing all these like some modern mm-hmm. and some like '90s era, '80s era action stars all coming together mm-hmm. to make a movie like I, like an over the top stupid action series and like wrestlers, like everybody, yeah. all these big macho. <laughs> yeah. 
alpha guys coming together, man. It was just like, that was amazing to mm-hmm. me. That seriously, like, got my blood pumping yeah. big time. When I saw the trailer for that, I'm like, this is going to be freaking epic. I thought that was cool. I loved it. I too. Yeah. I thought that was great. I'm just like, so also, like, whenever I watch those, I'm surprised that Terry Crews got in there. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, he wasn't ever really in any action movies or anything no, like that. No, he wasn't. Really he was just really he built. He was. Right. And mostly Adam Sandler movies and comedy yeah. stuff. He was just known as the bigger buff dude, but never was an action star, right? Then when that came out, then he kind of, that's pretty much the only I guess he kind of need a comic relief and a good action movie. He would, movie. yeah. And he's he's kind of he, like he big, still hasn't been in any action no, movies, really. No, but he was always no. a comic relief kind he's of guy. He's been on TV. Yeah. My name's Chris in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was the big, tough, funny guy. White like, chicks. Oh, host of a yeah, movie. Yeah, white chicks. Every Adam Sandler movie ever. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. In the 2000s anyways, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. White chicks is fucking funny. You think? Did you hear that they might be making white chicks, too? Yeah, because they said that it it needs to be made. Yeah. It's like, hey, it the really Wayne doesn't. said that? Yeah. Oh, no, they're God, right. Of course it, it does need to be made. Yeah. I, the movie's hilarious. Oh, it is so it's, funny, but it's, it's so, so bad. bad. It's, it's so, so funny. funny. Yeah. Ooh, watch those marshmallows, Terry <laughs> Crews. He's got to be in the next one. <laughs> he, he has, has to, to be. be. He, he was he the made best that part. Movie. He was the best yeah. part, like when he's dancing at the oh, fucking yeah. wedding thing there. Oh. What they say, once you go black, you end up in a wheelchair. And then like one girl wheels up. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, they don't make good movies like that anymore. Have you noticed, not to <laughs> no. detour, uh, somebody sure. from work was talking to me about it. They're like, have you noticed that comedy movies nowadays just completely suck? Absolutely, yeah. Like, they're it's, just trash They're now? almost written by bots, and they're just like, oh, what's, what's somewhat relatable and so, can be fun- kind of funny? But everything is so Hard. taboo now. Like, you can't even talk yeah. about half the shit that they use. Like, like um, yeah, like white chicks on that. Yeah. And, uh, like, me, myself, and Irene, like, mm-hmm. all the sexist, racist jokes and slapstick mm-hmm. comedy and gross-out mm-hmm. humor stuff is just so, like... Yep. Faux pas. Nobody yeah. wants to... Whatever. Like, super bad. Mm-hmm. Like, right. super bad was one of oh, the funniest yeah. movies now, but you think about it, and you watch it again, it's like, oh, you can't say shit like that I'm anymore. trying to think of, like, when is the last, like... Really? Just straight com Like, not even, like, funny, but just straight comedy movie that came out. Like yeah. I'm trying to think. only one I can think of off the top of my head right now is Super Troopers 2. That's a long time ago. That's, that is. That might be ago. the last that one that one, I remember, too. That one was funded by a crowdfunding. It wasn't done by a studio, so that's why I was able to be a little more raunchy than most of the Comedy is just like yeah. a... Because now they just they just implement comedy into oh, other movies. Stuff, yeah. yeah, like Marvel's... Yeah, Marvel's yeah. got like little Perhaps. funny parts. Yeah. But Dead, it's not... Deadpool. Like, yeah. Deadpool, you can maybe argue, is a comedy, but still... But it's, 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 you it's could. a superhero, superhero movie. comedy movie. Yeah. Right, it's, it's, a, it's a dark action superhero movie. Yeah, for sure. That's one I can think of that's just a straight-up comedy movie was Super Troopers 2 recently. Yeah. Comedy yeah. movies need to return to theaters. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah, and all the sub parts of <laughs> Adam Sandler nowadays. Like you think like uh, those old Happy Gilmore count. and like Billy Madison. Man, like what the <laughs> fuck happened? Well, to you, he's man? always just, now he's just coming out on Netflix. That's maybe yeah. why. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like Ridiculous Six, mm-hmm. I guess is. Oh yeah. One of the more recent ones. But yeah. Even that one too was like a Western action. It was like okay. Western parody. Yeah. Stupidity. I didn't get through that one. Burrow. I couldn't get through it. All I remember from that fucking movie. Yeah. Me and my Burrow. <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, and then Ted 2, I guess. Ted. Ted 2. Oh, yeah. But that's that really that came out, I think, the same time. That's like 2018, bud. 2019. That is, eh? Yeah. That, that long ago? Yeah. I'm trying to think of the most recent. I don't know. I. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. yeah. I'm just coming on streaming services. Yeah, pretty now. much, yeah. Must be up. Uh, Nobody wants to risk mm-hmm. a theater release with comedies because comedy is just such a touchy subject it nowadays. Now, it's, it's, it's so, yeah. It's Maybe they just don't do good anymore no. either. Just no. pulling money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you got Marvel launching mm-hmm. movies every three months or whatever. Exactly. Dominating <laughs> the box office. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. We'll have Jackass 4 coming out. Oh, okay. fuck yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that's just... Yeah, yeah even I, I'm That's more of a see... documentary of idiots <laughs> yes. doing stupid shit, which is still, I guess you would yeah. consider that a comedy. I yeah. cannot wait to see that yeah, one. Same. I I'm curious how, how that one's going to be. Like, yeah. Oh. How easily they're going to be injured, too, because they're old now. Well, and they're, hear... they're like twice their age because of how many injuries they have already yeah. suffered. But You hear about like, some of the stories that come up from production. It's like, oh, God, you guys. But it's like, yeah. you're 50 now, man. Like, yeah. what the hell? Speaking like, of comebacks, this is a great comeback. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait to see Jackass, this one. man. Yeah. 10 years since Jackass 3. I can't get over I'm like, that. no, this can't be real. Now. This is going to be a fake real. trailer. Yeah. And when I watch them, I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they all got like white, gray hair. Yeah, yeah, all old. <laughs> Steve yeah. old yeah. New, new mouth for him. Violent big now. All the fucking Jeez. concussions <laughs> just cause him to have like white hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, The Undertaker wrestling Goldberg in Saudi Arabia a couple years ago. What? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're all like both super fucking old, <laughs> and they just they're gassed like super easily too. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. yeah. Standing there looking at each other. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I was, like, supposed to be Undertaker's last match, and it was so horrible, because, like, Goldberg almost dropped him on his head and, like, killed him or something Jesus. like that. Jesus. And Undertaker's like, all right, that can't be my last match. <laughs> <laughs> so they did, like, since last year was mm-hmm. WrestleMania, no fans, mm-hmm. they did, like, a cinematic match or whatever, where they oh, were able to cut mm-hmm. it. And right. Like bone Graveyard bone match or some bullshit like that. Where and it was super edited. And yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, it, it, was, it was kind of cool to watch, but I was like, all right, that that could be your final thing because at least it was decent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Not you snapping your neck yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> be paralyzed or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Another b- return that I, I, I think of is uh, back when I was young watching Lord of the Rings, the two towers for the first time. Like I was... I don't know when when that movie cut a long time ago, like 10, 10, 11 years old, maybe two thousand and two, two towers, two thousand and two. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, ten, 11 ten, eleven ish, nine maybe. Yeah, um, and then watching that, like I had no idea that Gandalf came back <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> yeah, like and then you know they like bring the the hob- the ent brings the hobbits to the guy in white. And it's like oh, it's definitely Saruman, man. He's gonna. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna kill them, them little boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two thousand two. And then, like, yeah, they stumble upon Gandalf in the forest. I was like, "What?" Yeah. It's got shiny white robes. Because <laughs> I'll I'll say a little some secret I have here. I never watched the first one first. I watched two oh, towers really? first. So that scene had no weight to Here's, me at all. Yeah, whatever. I'm like, oh. okay, whoever this wizard guy is, cool, like, dude. I had no idea, <laughs> dude. You know how crushing it was when we watched the first one when he fell. <laughs> Flee, you fools, or whatever. Yeah. And it's just like, or fly, you fools, and then he just, and yeah. he falls down. He's like, no, oh my God, he's not, no, he, he's fine. Like, yeah. I'm like, holy shit, it's over. He's dead. I'm like, oh, they're fucked. Yeah. They're fucked. How are they going to get this fucking ring across Middle Earth? Right. Like, yeah. there's, there's no way. I was going to say, I, I don't think, I, I can't remember if I made this post on Facebook, but I definitely thought it was like, imagine being a fan of The Hobbit, like when it first came out as a book. And then, like, 40 years later, <laughs> The Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring comes out. You're like, oh, man, get, oh, yeah, Gandalf's back? Fuck yeah, and you're just reading, going through yeah. it. It's like, what? He dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I had 40 years for a sequel to my favorite book, and yeah. my favorite character dies. Right. And then yeah. a year later, he comes back. Yeah. There was a really good interview with George R.R. R. Martin that I watched on uh, on YouTube and He's talking about like how he develops characters and how his twists and how things that happen like like plot points that yeah. happen in his stories hit so hard is because like he said that he took that moment that when when Gandalf died when he was reading the books mm-hmm. it was such a shock to him because it's like man he's like a, he's a wizard he's one of the most powerful characters in the book yep. mm-hmm. and he's dead like how can how can this be and he's just like he just remembered feeling that sinking mm-hmm. like oh my god like they're not gonna make it they're doomed like and it just made him sick and he's like and it just made him want to read even more because it was just like how are they gonna fucking yeah. overcome this and then he said when they came back he was like well why did he bring him back yep. Now all of that is is gone. Now it's like it doesn't even bring back. And he's like, so when if I was right, I would have kept him dead. He said, and everybody in the audience is like, oh, you're a fucking psycho. <laughs> it's like, he's like, I would have kept him dead. Like, and then he hears and he right? reads his books. Like, oh yeah, it makes sense. He yeah, it makes sense because yeah. he's like, oh, yeah. all good characters die and they they stay dead because yeah. you're a freaking psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I mean, that they're was tell- such a good. But they're telling two different stories, though. That one's of hope, and oh. one's of just like real life fucking yeah, death just, and destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of returns, you know who won't be returning? Mm-hmm. Sex workers on OnlyFans. <laughs> That's right. They're they have to been get contracts now. Banned. Yeah, well, they're a, not banned. Not yet. yet as, as of October first. October first. So yeah, they gotta they make that want. bank as quick as possible. Mm-hmm. Put their kids through college. Can't even do any of this no bloody promote Halloween or... photo shoots. Yeah. <laughs> Can't make bank off those. Swipe up. That's the a, same old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like. When t- remember when Tumblr got rid of all their pornography? Same thing. And that website just shot itself in the foot. And yep, hasn't been the same. Well, I mean, I yeah. don't go on. That I never, I never used Tumblr to begin with. It definitely yeah. lost extreme popularity. Yes. Though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm guessing only fans is gonna probably do the same. Probably. Well, yeah, because I think what they're doing, the thing Patreon did a few years ago, where they them too, they did a big ban a lot of stuff like adult 
entertainment stuff and disband it from their website because that's what the the entertainment developers, or the Mastercard Visa, that's what they wanted, mm-hmm. right? So they did that to, to, to please them. But Patreon and like OnlyFans were like, oh yeah, it was used for everything. It wasn't specifically for porn. OnlyFans has only ever been known for porn mm-hmm. only, so they want to do a Patreon did to get rid of the, the smut, bring in everybody else in, and use OnlyFans as a, as a Patreon. That's funny but because I would never use OnlyFans as anything else. Before. No, because yeah. that's literally yeah. all I thought it was for. I yeah. thought it was same dedicated to just for yeah. mm-hmm. people that want to safely from their homes or yeah. cell phones show themselves to people. Yeah. That's and what I good if all the power to you if you want to do that. But I thought I've always like you assumed it was only for for pornography. It was never used for. As like a Patreon, like yeah. new app idea, boys. Yeah. Oh, make us rich. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Only porn fans. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I guarantee, I guarantee you, in the next oh, few I'm months, sure somebody, there'll yeah. be. Oh, I guarantee. Oh, There's yeah. going to be so many platforms for <laughs> yes, that now. It's exactly. just gonna. Yeah. So it's just gonna create more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only fans is totally fucking. I, for like for last sure. month, I've seen commercials on Reddit of like Only fans like promoting like musicians and artists. I'm like. What? Nobody's like, gonna. No one's gonna use OnlyFans for that. Like, why? Who's gonna say that? Like, hey, yeah. check out my OnlyFans where I do new music. Yeah. What, what? Naked while you're masturbating? Exactly. Like, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I guess like, like their 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 image is all burnt. That with the fuck. It is. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Just accept it and just yeah. fucking charge extra for using it. Have higher yeah. subscription fees. Just capitalize on it. We say that, but uh, we're gonna be streaming on OnlyFans probably. We're gonna do it. Let's we're do gonna it. Jump, we're gonna jump on that train. Check out our podcast on OnlyFans. <laughs> There's money to be made there. Yeah. Oh, God. You thought this was dirty. Wait till you see our OnlyFans. <laughs> Swipe up to see more. Send you a DM. Say, <laughs> buy this post for $5. Yeah, and I'll show you my... Even though you subscribe for $20 a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pay an extra 5 bucks <laughs> to see this thing God, nobody wants to see. <laughs> Yeah. Are you talking about nobody wants to see our stuff or nobody wants to see uh Okay. You know. Yeah. Fair enough. You know. No one wants to see two and a half naked men on the internet. Maybe they do. Yeah. Hey man. There's a falling for all kinds of weird shit out That's there, true. man. Yeah. People are weird. There's money to be made mm-hmm. on right. OnlyFans. <laughs> God, can we tell Dutch telling your family? Oh so yeah, we started the OnlyFans page now. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. we're only OnlyFans now because they support us. The esteemed uh-huh. gentleman. XXX the parody. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, some somebody I was reading on Twitter that like some streamer got approached by OnlyFans to go start streaming over on OnlyFans. Wow! And apparently, apparently they have a a, a seventy thirty revenue split where as the creator gets seventy percent. Oh yeah. Whereas Twitch is fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, them too. Like OnlyFans was. But uh, how many people are gonna follow him on yeah, there? Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's, a, that's the problem. Like that's the whole like mixer debate, right? Mm-hmm. Was when. Yeah. See, Microsoft follow. poached a bunch of people to go to Mixer, but it's like they didn't have the the, the audience didn't some audience came with them, but not but their the, whole, not, audience, not whole audience. Right, no. right. It just wasn't sustainable. Hmm. Least, Interesting. I, I guess if you have enough <clears throat> that do it, you know, yeah. unsubscribe to your Twitch and get rid of all that other shit and go on to mm. OnlyFans, I guess, or whatever. And yeah, mm. yeah. You might lose. So you just got to do like a cost analysis right Mm -hmm. it's like you need to keep percent amount of people to come over yeah with that more money you're making from the revenue split then Mm -hmm. yeah if you lose some that'll be all right but you can't lose too many because the 70 is going to compensate for whatever you lose yeah Yeah. but Hmm. also yeah only fans is still the tough sell because that's the tough that's the toughest that title it's just Ooh, yeah, name, they need a I name rebrand. Probably have to rebrand oh, for yeah, sure. Definitely, that's probably the, the plan all along. Is to kind of dump what they can and just figure out where they're going to go with it and maybe change the name because yeah, I, I, I can't. It's synonymous with poor man. Like that's <laughs> yeah. tough. Yeah. R.I.P. OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now think about all the poor, sugar daddies all, that are going to be in business now all too, those man. Poor simps. <laughs> hey, poor man. simps. Yeah. They at, least, at least they helped out the people in COVID times. Mm-hmm. You know. That's right. Kept them afloat. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, with sexual <laughs> shenanigans, sexual <laughs> shenanigans, so yeah. silly. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. any final thoughts on uh, anything? No. Did you prefer no. gonna retire from the professional world of beanbagging or not? Yet? No, God, no. It's a little long way to go still. So. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I know might have anymore. to. Go I it. have to. I, I, I definitely I wanted you be. guys to come to experience it, but yeah, it's a tough. I knew it would be a tough sell. Well, I mean, yeah. if uh, if we can find a babysitter, yeah, I'll go. Take Carly to my old stomping grounds. Mm-hmm. 
the rich history. <laughs> <laughs> the, co- oh, the, the colored past of Tyler's colored, Stark. yeah. Going on a, a, a tour. This is where I got hit by a car. <laughs> this is where I got... <laughs> There's the parking lot where you got the, tr- the car stuck a couple times in the snowbank. Here's the... There's the, yeah. There's the roof I used to climb on top of when I was in junior high. There's uh... a... <laughs> yeah. I got naked here and here and I here. ran. Oh, he, there. just... There's the cut. There's, a, there's the bush I used to run off when people were chasing me so I could uh, evade capture while I was naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mm. That'll do it for today's podcast. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you're watching yeah. on YouTube, like and subscribe. And if you're listening on a podcast service, Give us a good rating and uh, subscribe to the feed. Then Mm -hmm. head over to our Facebook page because we have an assignment for you. This Wednesday, the next podcast is episode 100. This many. Ten ten of those. Uh, And yeah, so Mm -hmm. we want you to submit some of your favorite moments that made you laugh. Any stories, any episodes that you can remember? There's been a lot of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, any that you can remember and uh, that you brings comes to your memory. That's what, I don't, that's what remembering is. That makes know. you feel all warm and gooey inside, maybe. Yeah. A little bit. Funniest moments, your favorite moments. Um, I'll tr- well, yeah, I'll be posting a thing on Facebook that you can either comment on or you can just DM us on Facebook as well. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. That'd, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll do just kind of. Uh, a walk down memory lane here. Yeah. Uh, for Podcast 100. Mm-hmm. Sounds good? Mm-hmm. There you go. Sounds glorious. Glorious. Glorious purpose. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, there you go. That's been Podcast Episode 99. 90- Thank you so much. Edition. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. I, I was going to go into the, the spiel again. You were just into the outro, yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs>